another day is upon us. I'm losing track of all my days. I think it's Wednesday. Or is it Thursday? Wednesday or Thursday? I think it's Thursday. All I know is it's April 2nd today. I'm gonna talk in Eastern time. <laughs> it's 7.30. I'm just leaving. I just got my coffee at the uh, Tim Hortons in Bathurst, New Brunswick. You know, I heard about the East Coast hospitality. I didn't realize it was actually a thing. Wow, people are so friendly here. It's unbelievable. I love it. I might just never go back home. I'm gonna have to pull over here real quick because I don't exactly remember where I'm going. I came out that way. Everything is good. Oh, I'm not in gear. Everything is not good. Now I'm in gear. Now we can roll. Yeah, no, like I could not believe, I, I didn't believe, well, it's not that I didn't believe. I had a hard time believing people could be so nice. Because I come from Ontario, right? The main province, the big cities, big people. It's not that people aren't nice. It's that people are very self-centered. It's all about me in Ontario, right? But here it looks like everybody's trying to help each other out. You know, like especially with the virus going on, everybody's in it together. Like this is the second Tammy's that I go to where drivers are allowed to walk up to the window because there's nowhere else for us to really get a coffee, right? Like where I was sleeping last night, it's not a real truck stop, it's just a card lock with a parking lot. So there's no washrooms there and there's, you know, there's no facilities. So I can't really walk into the truck stop and ask to get a coffee because there is none, right? So my next best bet is to try my, to try my luck with the Timmy's. And there was a sign on the door that said, uh, drivers, place an order with the app and call this number when you place your order. That's what I tried to do. So I called the number after I placed my order with the app. But there was uh, no answer to the phone. So I just set it to walk up to the window and they told me, they said, like, if you're ever down here again, don't even bother with the app. Just come right up to the window. And if nobody's here, just <laughs> open the window and stick your head in it and say, hey, I'm here. And the people are really nice. It's, it's, it's refreshing. I'm enjoying my time here. I almost don't want to go back home. I really don't want to go back home. It's beautiful out here. Like, I'm sure you guys have all through all the road footage I put together yesterday. It is gorgeous out here. Like, I am loving it. So yeah, anyways, we're about a half hour from the mine and I'm gonna have to come back out this way after because I just passed the sign that said no trucks for 44 kilometers. So I guess this is the half load road. It starts at 44 kilometers, that's what I'm thinking. Because in the summertime, if I came down this way, it'd be a little bit faster. I think it, I think my coworker told me it'd be about a half hour faster to come this way rather than go all the way around from Hamilton and all that. It is what it is. It's winter time. It's, it's thaw season, right? And there is a lot of snow here compared to what we had and still have. There is a lot here still. It's crazy. bringing back a bobcat uh, side by side utility vehicle type thing yeah so we just are leaving the mine now we're heading back home i will be home tomorrow at some point i don't know yet where i'm gonna stop tonight i'm gonna aim for where i stopped two nights ago in quebec because it's 10 o'clock now i should really stop and update my logbook that would be a really good idea but i'm gonna stop and aim for there because then i know that if i get there i'm about eight hours from home give or take then I can deal with Montreal tomorrow in the morning instead of dealing with it today. All in all, uh, we will see what will happen. It's still raining, but I'm hoping that as I get further west, the rain will stop and become sunshine because I know that back home today, it is sunny. And I'm jealous. I wish it was sunny here. The good news is I still have coffee, so that's always good. Ugh, that highway in here is absolutely garbage. It is so rough. Stuff is flying off of my shelves. I had to restock them when I got it. I'm hanging my shirt up because it's very, very wet. Uh, we're not that heavy going back, I don't think. I don't think we're much more than 10,000 pounds. The side-by-side -side probably weighs about 3,000, and the reamer I had that they put on my truck weighs about 4, 4,000, they said, maybe? 4,000? I don't know. It's not heavy, so we'll be okay. It is wash 
sports season on dirt roads, though. They are rough. It's a 50 kilometer an hour road and I'm doing 30. To convert to my American friends, it's a 30 mile an hour road and I'm doing about 20. So anyways, uh, yeah, we're gonna get as far as we can tonight. Like I said, I'm hoping to make it back towards Drummondville. I know there's a big Irving stop there that I'm gonna stop at because the Flying J didn't have any showers open, so I'm gonna avoid the Flying J for today. Even though I'm very biased towards Flying J because they usually have really nice rest areas. I'm sorry, Flying J, you're not getting my business tonight. Okay, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog so far. I know it's been uh, pretty short as of right now, but uh, I promise there's a lot of road footage to come.
it's just like, man, you gotta have that time where you just like disconnect from the, from the scene, just the, the, the race. Like, it... All right, we're just leaving New Brunswick and we're just coming into Quebec. And I'm gonna show you guys the, uh, the barricades, I think you call them, or the blockades, the barricades, the something, but uh, you can see they have a, a lane for just trucks. And I showed it to you also yesterday when we went into uh, La Placatiaia. <coughs> so trucks are let through or not even stopped and cars are forced to take the detour and they're checked. I guess they're temporary. 800 meters, turn left on the Avenue de la Madawasta. I guess their temperature is checked and they asked if they really have any symptoms of the coronavirus. Continue for oh 283 kilometers. So they're checked for a fever and any other symptoms of coronavirus because it feels like a cold at first. So I guess they're asked if they have cold and flu symptoms, but trucks are just slid right through, which is pretty cool. And I guess they have the cops sitting there in case somebody tries to pull a, a fast one on them and uh, bypass the uh, blockade or the checkpoint. Let's call it a checkpoint. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. So I'm still not entirely sure where I'm going to stop tonight. It's 20 after 2 right now, and I'm getting till 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. 9. I'm till 9. My 13 hours... No, that's a lie. Yeah, I'm getting till 9 o'clock tonight, but I don't really want to push that far. So I don't exactly know where I'm going to stop. I have my GPS right now set to where I stopped Tuesday. And just outside of the... Uh, uh, where did I stop? Drummondville. But that's only putting me for about 6 o'clock, which is kind of early. I'd like to go maybe an hour or two a bit further. So, uh, yeah, I'm thinking maybe closer to Montreal. I'll we'll have to stop at some point there and uh, find the spot. I just stopped in Edmonton. I should have done it there. I thought about it, and then I went inside to use the washroom and check my load, and uh, completely forgot. So that's okay. So yeah, we'll be home definitely tomorrow at some point there. The further I make it today, the less I have to go tomorrow. And tomorrow will be the last big push to make it home, deliver, and then go home. Inside my thoughts and when I start to think Oh, the time, how close it starts to end up on the brink I tried so hard but all these scars They cut so deep I bleed I fell so fast from heaven It's like someone clipped my wings Now I'm falling And I can't see the ground this gravity it keeps bringing me down i can't breathe and i don't want to die can we stop this gravity cause i don't want to say goodbye <laughs>
some point and my camera kept on rolling and it died eventually <laughs> so after a little while there's no more road footage and uh, yeah I apologize about that but uh, I think the video will probably be long enough for today anyways I try to keep them around 15 20 minutes give or take every day so we uh, are just about where we stopped two nights ago on the way up but I went down further I came down in the Irving this time because they actually have showers that are open and anybody who knows me knows I like to be clean so I like my showers, especially after a day. And they like today where it's just gross and rainy and foggy and just clears the head a little bit, eh, I find. So yeah, we are in uh, the little town. It's called saint Libois. I think that's how you pronounce it. At the uh, Irving Big Stop, like I said. So we fueled up the truck and uh, I got myself some dinner. I cheated myself. I said I wouldn't buy any takeout, but I caved and I got some saint Tobias because that stuff is just so good and we don't have any in Ontario either. So I had a wrap and it puts in and uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, it was worth it. And I had I ate my coleslaw with it, so you know what? I had some help in there at least. So yeah, so for tomorrow, tomorrow I'm gonna leave at around seven o'clock probably again. I find that's a pretty good time to leave. Tomorrow I only have to go. I'm gonna try to deliver tomorrow. It should be doable because I'm only about seven hours from Sudbury. Okay, so yeah, so eight hours and eight minutes for tomorrow. That's how far I have to go. It really isn't even that bad. If I leave around seven, I'll be back in Sudbury by three o'clock. So yeah, it'll be uh, maybe I'll leave around six just to play it safe. If I wake up before my alarm, I told myself that's when I'll get up. So yeah, so join me tomorrow for the last leg of the trip, the final push home. Tomorrow will be a go, go, go kind of day because it's Friday. And I want to be home for the weekend. Mostly because I want to do nothing for the weekend. Okay, thanks for joining me today. Remember to smash that like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And uh, join me tomorrow to see, uh, well, we will make it home, but join me tomorrow to see what the day brings me.